this is real life, you couldn't see my rupee total. What up with that? Um. Oh yeah, you thought we were done? Oh no, we gotta get this all the way back to the first room, which is... Means we gotta go through two rooms with this thing. And something nice about this is that you can actually... Clear away this, so... And yeah, you might see there's another thing right there, but... I'm not really too remembering of that, so we'll pick it up later. So, yeah, very similar to the last room. You just gotta go up here and then wait, make sure you're on a solid part. Now, even if he picks it up, which he did right there, you're not totally hopeless until he takes it all the way out. Because you can still actually snag it back from him. He moves pretty slow. And there you go. And I think that once you actually do take it from him, he actually loses power a little bit. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, a couple times you actually are going to have to throw this. Either throw it or just go up without it and then use your claw shot. And if you get hit by anything... Well, for a second I couldn't tell which one was Navi and which one was... And which one was the, um... Fairy that you put in your thing. It looks different in the Twilight World for some reason, or maybe that's just me. And I think that's the first time all game I actually called this thing Navi. Like, I might have said, well, some people think it's Navi, but that's the first time I actually just called it Navi. Hmm. <laughs> no one likes Navi, you know? I don't really get why. And something interesting is that now that we can be a human here, you can actually, uh... Wait, well, ne never mind. I think, yeah, you still do need your claw shot to do it, but you just need to be a human in order to use the claw shot, that's all. We gotta do this quickly, though, because he's still chasing us. I think it would have been helpful if the compass told you where he was, but oh well. And guess what? It's our 44th piece of heart. That is almost everyone in the game. And by the way, we don't have 18. We don't have 19 hearts. We have 18. I don't really know why I said that. It must have looked like we had 19, but no, we got 18, because we have the 2 left, and plus the um, heart container that we'll get after finishing this dungeon. Oh no! Oh yeah, what a save right there. This would be an interesting, like, sport. Or it would actually be an interesting minigame, like if one player was the, uh was the hand and one player was Link. That would be pretty cool. You know, just like the mini, like the multiplayer in Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Although I like the multiplayer in Phantom Hourglass a lot better than the one in Spirit Tracks. Or that's not actually true, but I definitely did like the one in Phantom Hourglass. I like that you could actually play online with that one. I mean, why would they take something like that out? I know Spirit Tracks is a lot bigger of a game. You can tell that by its frame rate drops. <laughs> no, I like Spirit Tracks, but... I actually like Spirit Tracks better than Phantom Hourglass, and I even like it better than Wind Waker. But, um... Yeah, that's just one thing. I don't think... But, you know, Zelda's always been about single player, right? So, if you put the soul here, then you can go over to this side. I think that one thing I didn't do, but you can actually bring the soul up to these guys, and then you can revive them. But it doesn't matter, because we're going to have chances to do that later on. And whoa, we got four treasure chests here in this room. Hmm, yeah. So, let's take care of these, uh, keys. Um, Shadow keys. I'll, I'll call them shadow from now on, because I think that sounds cooler. Because I think that they're actually called both. Like, you can call them Twilight or Shadow. I think both are official. So, which way to go? Which way to go? Well, I think there's actually a claw shot target above us, which is how we can get onto this thing, but it moves back and forth, so make sure that you do as I say and not as I do.
Yeah, make sure that you're careful, unlike myself, or unlike me. I think that the word myself is not proper to use in those things, in those sentences. And make sure you kill these enemies, because if you do, you'll get a treasure chest. I'm not really sure how required it is. I actually forget where the other heart piece is. I mean, I always remember that one. No, I remember where the other one is. I think it's actually in this room. No, it's in the next room. It's in the next room. Is it? I don't remember. We'll just get every single... Ah, uh, once he's stunned, you can hit him with the arrow, right? Too late now. Whoa! Hello. And we got purple rupee. Alright, just lying right there. Uh-huh. Where'd it go? That's not gonna work. Um, you might even be able to use your sword to launch his back. But I'm, I like using my shield. Good practice for Skyward Sword, although in Skyward Sword, I'm not actually sure you can do both of this. Whoa! Ha 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 ha! Yes, I finally got to do it! Yay! Finally! Link stands on top of a treasure chest. What can you do on top of a treasure chest? You can use your claw shot to hit the ground. You can use... Bombs. Oh, shoot! No! Yeah. I didn't even do it on purpose, either. There are more treasure chests in here, but... um, Yeah, to get those, you're gonna need to... Go back up there, and then... Use the claw shot. But I think that you actually do need to do something else before you are able to get those. I'm not too sure, but not too unsure. And yeah, I know I missed a treasure chest over there. I'll get it later. So yeah, oh my god, we got these things again. And they behave the same way as before. Gotta kill them both at the same time. Oh, and there was another one. But here... I think that, I'm not sure if you actually have to kill them all, I mean, maybe there's an item, but... Uh, yep. You can definitely tell that it's the red thing. See, so, yeah, we just got them all right there. And now we got something else. I really like the enemies in this area. I just do. Are you done now? Yes, you're done. For some reason, sometimes when I hit him and then he warps, I think I beat him. But oh no. And we got more. Aw, oh, come on. Quit confusing me. Oh yeah, that's what I like. I didn't even mean to hit one. So how about I not mean to do stuff and then I'll end up doing it. Where'd it go? And yeah, now once you beat these things, we got some keys to deal with. Or, one keys. One key. I don't really know what to call it, singular keys, but I guess it's just called it keys. Alright, we've almost got enough for the great spin. One more, one more. Ah. It's like, you don't worry about having full hearts, you worry about having great spin. Oh, and there's actually something else I want to talk about. There's something I just think is hilarious. So let's say someone suggests... Um, like a Pokemon that's already strong getting an evolution. Like, it's really funny what they say. Like, rather than saying, Wow, an evolution for Skarmory? That must be strong. They'll say, Wow, an evolution for Skarmory? Can't wait to see how I'm going to use Evil Light Skarmory. Or, like, you know what the Evil Light is? It's one of the most used competitive items, I think. I mean, I like it, but... I've, I've never really found a good time to use it, but, like... Yeah, it's like, it changes the way you think about things. Like, instead of saying, like, if someone talks about, like, someone had, um, an idea for an evolution for Skarmory, and instead of people saying, wow, that's a, that would be a cool Pokemon to use, they'll say, wow, now I can use Skarmory with an evil light. Like, I don't know, I don't, I'd like to think it has nothing to do with the whole nostalgia thing, which, but, um, just that, you know, that's a good battling strategy.
Never mind, though. But speaking of the whole nostalgia of Pokemon thing, it's just, I'm actually thinking about doing a top ten list for top ten worst arguments about that, and I know what my number one's gonna be. You know, maybe I should just say it right now, because I don't need to do a top ten list for that, but I'll tell you the worst argument right now that people have with Pokemon nostalgia. Okay, so, this row doesn't happen too much, but occasionally I see this, and it's just the stupidest thing ever. But, um... If someone's commenting on, like, the new gym leader music, they'll say, why didn't they just use the old music? I'm like, are you kidding me? You think they should use the same music over and over again? People criticize the series for being too similar, and then people criticize it for being... W what do you want? That's what I don't get. Like, if it's too different, people aren't gonna like it, and then if it's too similar, people still aren't gonna like it. What do you want? I don't get it. But the music thing, that's gotta be the stupidest thing. Okay, so you just want the same music to be played in every single game? I don't get that. That's gotta be the worst argument I've ever heard. Yeah, it is. Like, these days, I don't actually know what's worse. Pokemon fans or Sonic the Hedgehog fans? I actually think that the Pokemon fans might be worse. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I believe it. And there's another treasure chest, so, so let's snag that one real quick. Did we get a heart piece? No, we didn't. If we did, we'd have 19 hearts, and I would have noticed. But we got a purple rupee. Oh, man, we're almost about to the point where it's not fitting, so... Oh, we got the great spin, though. Oh, yeah. Like, are you kidding me here? Let's find out what's behind this door next time.